afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Live at 4 on this Monday. Hope you all had a good weekend. You, Susan? Very nice. How about you? Yeah, the weather was not great, but got a lot, a lot of stuff done. Yeah, boy, today it is... <laughs> it is a, I'm glad to be inside. It is so windy. Poor Dane is on the patio. Yeah, we'll get to her in just a second. I love it when you came back from lunch. <laughs> when right, yeah. Do your hair right away. Combed it with a towel. Yeah, absolutely. We'll get to that. As we said, but first, here's what's making news on this Monday. Wisconsin now has one million fully vaccinated people, but are we doing enough to prevent a fourth wave? In Minneapolis, opening arguments are heard in the trial of Derek Chauvin, what the prosecutors want the jury to know. Meanwhile, Dane County lays out a new plan to provide farm fresh food for those in need. Let's take a look outside on this windy Monday. This bird is not making much progress <laughs> against those Aww. gusts. Whoosh is the weather word and Dana is outside in the middle of it all. A little breezy out there. It is not <laughs> pleasant on the patio right now. Rather, rather grumpy at the wind currently. If we uh, look at our Edgewater sky cam over Madison, it continues to be uh, quite a shaky picture because it is so windy and gusty outside. Sustained wind speeds generally in the mid to upper 20s. Those wind gusts, of course, much higher than that. So we do have a wind advisory in effect for most of southern Wisconsin until 8 o'clock this evening. 24 miles per hour for Madison, 24 in Janesville, also 29 for Mineral Point. Uh, those peak wind gusts today, though, peaking much higher than that in the 40s at times. Just sunny and mild with temperatures, but with the wind factored in, not so great for us right now. Doppler track overall should stay pretty quiet throughout the rest of the evening, but for early tomorrow morning, uh, we might see an isolated shower or two pass through. The slight chance for a shower for tomorrow, but we'll take a closer look at that in just a few minutes. Right now, the roads uh, looking pretty okay for us. I would be concerned about high profile vehicles right now, or even the, the small little zip cars, that are like a soda can going down the road. It's a little too windy for that. East and westbound along the Beltline right now looks smooth, as does the interstate. 25 minutes to get from Janesville to the Beltline. 17 minutes to get from Sox City to Milton and some prairie to downtown nine minutes this evening. I'm going back inside. <laughs> <laughs> this is a ponytail weather. <laughs> it is. It is. That's where I made the mistake. I, I'm sitting here just trying to hold it back. All right. Come on inside. <laughs> Thank you, Thank you Dana. Thanks, Dana. Minutes. First of four, Wisconsin's seven-day average of COVID-19 cases is down today. State health officials reported nearly 300 new cases this afternoon. Three more people have died. While the seven-day average is down today, overall, the state has been seeing a rise in cases after weeks of steady decline. More than 17% of the state is fully vaccinated. A little more than 29% of the state, or 1.7 million people, have at least one dose. In Dane County, more than 21% of the population is fully vaccinated. That's more than 115,000 people and comparable to half the population of Madison. Nearly 37% of the county has at least one dose. And Wisconsin crossed another COVID-19 milestone today, and that's a positive one. More than a million people are fully vaccinated. Our Gabriella Kara joins us to explain why that's a big step toward achieving herd immunity. Gabby? Mark and Susan, the doctors I spoke with today are happy to see how fast vaccinations are happening. And they say it's only going to continue to increase from here. Breaking it down, 1 million vaccinations is 17% of the state's population. Nearly double that number received at least one dose, which means 30% of people are somewhat protected from COVID-19 in Wisconsin. UW Health Dr. Matt Anderson says the correlation between case numbers and vaccines in the state six. 65 plus population proves that the vaccine is working. Demand is there right now. I think it's going to be really important for us in protecting ourselves and the community that people continue to seek out vaccination. So I think when you look at some of those data, like what's going on in the elderly populations who have really had a much larger percentage vaccinated to date, it's a really encouraging sign. Both UW Health and SSM Health say the limiting factor is vaccine supply. And coming up on News 3 Now at 5, we'll share why doctors say the faster vaccines happen, the less likely another wave of infection could happen. All right, Gabby, we'll see you at 5. Thank you. Governor Tony Evers has vetoed a bill passed by state Republicans, giving the legislature more control on how COVID relief money is spent. It's because we were able to work fast and without uh, political huffing and puffing that we could get this money out as quickly as possible. 
The Republican-controlled state legislature passed a bill requiring more oversight on how federal relief funds are spent. It would have required a 14-day review by the Joint Finance Committee. The Republican-controlled committee would have likely vetoed much of Governor Evers' plans. The state of Wisconsin and its counties and municipalities are getting about $5.7 billion in relief. We have a full breakdown of where that money is going on our website, channel3000.com. President Biden announced today that 90% of U.S. adults will be eligible for the COVID-19 vaccine by April 19th. That is three weeks from now. The president updated his administration's vaccination efforts and urged Americans to remain vigilant as the number of COVID-19 infections, hospitalizations, and deaths are all rising once again across the country. CDC Director Dr. Rochelle Walensky issued an emotional warning based on the latest data. We have so much to look forward to, so much promise and potential of where we are, and so much reason for hope, but right now I'm scared. The increase in cases is putting pressure on the administration and the nation's governors to accelerate vaccinations. A new CDC study involving healthcare personnel and essential workers shows strong evidence that the Moderna and Pfizer vaccines are highly effective in preventing infection in real world conditions. Results showed the risk of infection dropped by 90% two or more weeks after people received their second dose. Opening statements began today in the murder trial of former Minneapolis police officer Derek Chauvin. He's accused of murdering George Floyd last May when he kneeled on Floyd's neck for about nine minutes. The case drew national and international attention to a racial justice reckoning. Michael George is in Minneapolis with more. Mr. Derek Chauvin betrayed this badge. Prosecutor Jerry Blackwell began his case against former Minneapolis police officer Derek Chauvin with the most powerful piece of evidence. For nine minutes and 29 seconds, the 14 jurors watched an entire bystander video of Chauvin pressing his knee on George Floyd's neck. Grinding and crushing him until the very breath. No, ladies and gentlemen, until the very life were squeezed out of him. Chauvin has pleaded not guilty to the charges of murder and manslaughter. The defense argues Floyd's death was caused by a heart condition, methamphetamine and fentanyl. There is no political or social cause in this courtroom. But the evidence is far greater than nine minutes and 29 seconds. Attorneys for Floyd's family kneeled before the trial began. They say this trial is a referendum on racial justice in America. This murder case is not hard. When you watch that torture video of George Floyd. Minneapolis is a city on edge. The area around the courthouse is protected by fencing and the National Guard. The protests here have been peaceful, but the fear is if Chauvin is acquitted, that could change. Among the protesters, many told us this should be an open and shut case. I have confidence in that judge. I have confidence in the jurors that this man will be convicted. People is on edge, man. They ready to do something. They, these, these people is on edge so, so bad. The first witnesses have already begun testifying. The trial is expected to take up to four weeks. Michael George, CBS News, Minneapolis. If convicted of the most serious charge of second-degree murder, Chauvin could face as many as 40 years in prison, though sentencing guidelines suggest he would face 12 and a half years. Dane County is extending a partnership with Second Harvest Food Bank to help with emergency food needs during the pandemic. The partnership started last April and later extended in December to last until the summer. The county announced today it will continue the partnership through July of next year. Second Harvest works with the county and local farmers to provide farm fresh food to those who need the assistance. Another $10 million in funds is being allocated by Dane County to the Farm Food Bank program. In the coming months, as our recovery continues, many of our neighbors will still need help with basic needs. And we as a community will be there to help, especially with the most basic needs, putting food on the table. 
The partnership helps farmers while also keeping those in need fed. A coalition of local farmers has provided over 600,000 pounds of produce to the Second Harvest and Dane County Farm uh, to, food, to the food bank program since June of 2020. While the White House defends its policies at the southern border, officials are scrambling to provide safe shelter for the children who make the journey alone. A new facility in Southern California is filling up quickly. Hundreds of young migrants will continue arriving at the San Diego Convention Center until the facility is at capacity. The shelter is for unaccompanied 13 to 17 year old girls transferred here from Border Patrol detention facilities, which are not designed for minors. We will expect some more next week until we get to our full capacity of 1,450 sometime expected next week. The Biden administration says it's pursuing longer term solutions to the flood of Central American migrants arriving at the U.S. border each day. Lawmakers from both parties visited the border over the weekend with Republicans blaming President Biden for the worsening crisis. According to the latest government figures, there are about 18,000 unaccompanied migrant children in U.S. federal custody. The Scott skyscraper sized cargo ship that we've been following that was jammed across the Suez Canal is finally free and traffic has resumed at one of the busiest trade routes in the world. Tugboats blasted in relief early this morning when the colossal ship blocking the Suez Canal finally budged after hours of being pushed, pulled and prodded. For days, dredgers sucked up nearly a million cubic feet of sand and mud. Mother Nature also lent a hand with a full moon high tide raising the Canal's water level. The blockage created a traffic jam of nearly 400 ships. Canal can take about 50 or 60 ships a day, so there is going to be um, some delay as, as they free up this backlog. The ships are carrying everything from crude oil and cattle to coffee and toilet paper. This blockage has hit world economies hard with billions of dollars lost in global trade. Well, there's more to come on News 38 Now at 4. Film critic Will Loper is along with his weekly rundown of the new movies and shows to stream. He'll tell us what to watch and what to skip when Live at 4 continues. We'll be right back. You're watching News 3 Now, live at 4. Being a good father is important to me. So being diagnosed with advanced non-small cell lung cancer made me think of all the things that I wanted to teach my kids. My doctor said I could start on Keytruda, so I did. With uh, each scan, things just got better. In a clinical study, Keytruda offered patients a longer life than chemotherapy, and it could be your first treatment. For non-small cell lung cancer that has spread, Keytruda can be used for adults who test positive for pd one and whose tumors do not have an abnormal EGFR or ELK gene. Keytruda is not chemotherapy. It's the immunotherapy used to treat more patients with advanced lung cancer than any other. Keytruda helps your immune system fight cancer, but can also cause your immune system to attack healthy parts of your body. This can happen during or after treatment and may be severe and lead to death. See your doctor right away if you have cough, shortness of breath, chest pain, diarrhea, severe stomach pain or tenderness, severe nausea or vomiting, headache, light sensitivity, eye problems, irregular heartbeat, extreme tiredness, constipation, dizziness or fainting, changes in appetite, thirst or urine, confusion or memory problems, muscle pain or weakness, fever, rash, itching or flushing. These are not all the possible side effects. Tell your doctor about all your medical conditions, including immune system problems, or if you've had an organ transplant, had or plan to have a stem cell transplant, or have had radiation to your chest area or a nervous system condition. Before I'd think of the stuff I might miss, but now with Keytruda, we have hope. Living longer is possible. It's true. Keytruda from Merck. Ask your doctor about Keytruda. Love lower than low prices? Then get more ways to save at Pick and Save, where you can find personalized coupons, weekly deals, and rewards like fuel points. All for prices that are lower than low. On food that's fresher than fresh. Pick and Save. Fresh for everyone. At U.S. Cellular, we believe everyone deserves 5G. So we're building our powerful 5G network for the millions of Americans who live outside of New York and L.A., like teachers in Madison and small business owners in Rockford. That's why we've included 5G on all plans, no extra charge for everyone, whether you're working or playing. 
U.S. cellular plans include 5G, no extra charge. Get the new Samsung Galaxy S21 5G free with no hidden requirements. U.S. Cellular. Step one, build a new breed, make it an SUV. Send it off-road, send it to Baja. Then evolve, enhance, expand, make it capable, smart, human. And then make more. Because the only way to predict the future is to build it. And the only way to build it is Ford Proud. Choose FlexBuy and get a 2020 Escape with 0% financing for 66 months. Plus 3500 cash back. Only at your local Ford dealer. Welcome back. Dick's Sporting Goods is launching a new store concept. Dick's has opened what it calls an, exper an exper experimental store. That's the word in New York. The retailer has dubbed the store Dick's House of Sport. The place features a rock climbing wall, indoor wellness spaces, and an outdoor field for sporting events. The company says customers at the location will get a hands-on shopping experience with their products, as well as help from fitness experts. Bars are now open to more people as more COVID restrictions are being relaxed. And there are a growing number of establishments that have something new on tap. A few years ago, the Dry January Challenge started gaining popularity. That led to Dry July and Sober October. Now, some companies are capitalizing on the trend. A number of alcohol-free spirits have been released in the past couple of years, and more are popping up on the market, like Zero Proof Gin and Tequila. Sands Bar in Austin, Texas, serves alcohol-free cocktails to its customers. 75% of people that come into Sands Bar on a regular basis do not identify as being sober or being in recovery. A lot of people just want to drink less. The lifestyle of drinking less allows people to socialize with a clear head. According to market analyst company IWSR, the public's taste for low and non-alcohol beer, wine, and spirits is growing faster than overall alcohol consumption. Sunday set another record for U.S. air travel since the pandemic began. The TSA screened more than 1.5 million people yesterday. One year ago, only 180,000 people flew. And a year before that, the number was 2.5 million. Close to 10 million people have flown in the last week as spring break continues. The trend is worrying health experts, though, because just over 15% of the population is now fully vaccinated against COVID-19. Traders took a breather on Wall Street. The Dow Industrials managed a 98-point gain, closing at 33,171. The Nasdaq lost 79, and the S&P 500 was off almost three and a half. Well, there's a number of new box, there's a new number one at the box office this week. And a whole new slew of movies and TV shows have hit the streaming world. Our film critic, Will Loper, has a look. Hey, Mark and Susan. Well, comedic actor Bob Odenkirk has shown he's got dramatic acting chops in the TV series Better Call Saul. And this weekend, he shows us he's got the action moves as well in the film Nobody. So they took maybe 20 bucks in an old watch? Mr. Madsen, did you even take a swing? No. Could have taken her, Dad. Odin Kirk plays a middle-aged dad in the suburbs who begins to take revenge on criminals. What are you still doing here, old man? I'm gonna mess you up. <laughs> <laughs> the film opened to mostly positive reviews, praising Odin Kirk's performance and the blend of comedy and action. I used to be what they call an auditor. The last guy anyone wants to see at their door. Nobody was number one at the box office, taking in 6.7 million, the highest opening for a thriller since the pandemic began. Who are you? I'm nobody. Nobody is only playing in theaters, but for those of us at home, on streaming services, there's plenty new to watch, including the documentary Tina on HBO Max. Look what I have done in this lifetime with this body. I'm a girl from a cotton field that pulls myself above was not taught to me. The film takes a look at the life and career of musical legend Tina Turner. My dream is to be the first black rock and roll singer to pack places like the Stones. New on Hulu is the Oscar-nominated documentary Collective. <laughs> What 
one of the most powerful films of the year, tells the story of the battle against corruption in the healthcare industry of Romania after numerous people die needless deaths in the aftermath of a club fire. New on Netflix is the film Bad Trip. Only time for that road trip. I'm talking. Man, wow. Tiffany Haddish and Eric Andre play out a script in real life locations, pulling pranks on unsuspecting people. We are the only black people in here. Black like to make it toast? What are you doing up there? Get down I love her. you. Up on video on demand platforms for rental is one of the best films of the year, The Father. Laura has come around to help you. I don't need her or anyone else. I can manage very well on my own. Everything all right? Who are you? Actually, it's me, Paul. Who? Oh? I live here. What is this nonsense? Anthony Hopkins turns in a career best performance as an aging father who argues with his daughter about whether or not he needs a caretaker or to be put in a home. Your father seemed a bit confused. Something wrong? Where's Anne? Sorry? Anne, where is she? I'm here. The Father is a tough watch, but absolutely worth seeing and is available now to rent on VOD for $19.99. And releasing this Wednesday in theaters and on HBO Max is the most anticipated battle in cinematic history, Godzilla vs. Kong. And I've got an exclusive clip of the jaw-dropping action. For Line of Court, I'm Will Loper. <laughs> something tells me that's not it. No. <laughs> But Will has something literally for everyone. Yeah, I want to see the father. That <laughs> yeah, looks spectacular. All right, there's more to come before. A Wausau couple is fulfilling a dream. And an old school bus is helping that dream come true. We'll have that story coming up a little later on Live at 4. When it comes to weather, only one thing really matters. Accuracy. Only one station can be the best. News 3 Now. First Warn Weather has the most accurate forecast according to Weather Rate. Count on First Warn Weather for your most accurate forecast. one of our favorite Portage families here at the Portage Furniture Store, the Ayers family that has grown a little bit since, yeah, he says high five. That's right. <laughs> since the last time we were we, here. Yeah, uh, we sure have. You see, Austin and I are proud third generation owners and now we're working on our fourth generation. We've seen generations of customers come through and I think we take a lot of joy in seeing, hey, my parents bought from your dad or bought from your uncles or bought from your grandpa. Mm -hmm. And now Austin and I get to enjoy that ourselves. How much fun is it on the days you come back into town and the three of you are together? It's, um, it's very special. Like I said, longevity from when my dad and uncle started in 1940 to now, very special. We're very, very proud to showcase uh, predominantly American-made brands. Safe and pressure-free shopping. We have a number of great lines, including Serta Mattresses, Smith Brothers, Flex Steel, Lazy Boy, and England. And not everyone has the heir's last name, but everybody here, I know you guys consider family. Yeah, we really have some wonderful people here, including, you know, two salespeople, Rosie and Punky, who have been here with us from the very beginning, and we're really thankful for them. Yeah, they really make you guys, they're the ones who make you all look good. Yeah, they are. No doubt. And we need all the help we can get. Yeah, well, he said it. I <laughs> What are some of the biggest things that set you guys apart? The free delivery. <laughs> yeah. They still got it. I was wondering. We do. Glad to yeah. hear it. And on top of a you know, first class free delivery service, we're very proud of our huge, uh, huge selection of top name brand uh, furniture at guaranteed low prices. <laughs> well, with the free delivery, we've got a lot of stops, but I'm glad you're helping me. From the Portage Furniture Store, I'm Emmy Fink, and you're buzzed into Madison. He's excited. Habitat Dane County provides long-term stability through affordable home ownership, creating the spaces where learning grows, the places to rest, the spots to gather, the areas to play safely. Strengthen our community. Support Habitat Dane County. 
saying yes to Allegra, the number one allergist recommended non-drowsy brand. Allegra works two times faster than Claritin, and unlike Zyrtec, it's non-drowsy. Say yes to the fastest non-drowsy 24-hour relief, Allegra. Wisconsin is a home of workers. We know what needs to get done, and we do it. Yet, we've been hit hard, some harder than others. Our contact may be limited, but we still can lift each other up. Your local Wisconsin energy and emergency rental assistance providers are working together to keep you safely in your home. You may not ask for it, but we want you to know we're here to help. Well, take a look at this. Because of the warm start to spring, the cherry blossoms are nearing their peak in Washington, D.C. The National Park Service says the tree should peak next weekend just in time for Easter. Officials plan on having limited access to the area during the bloom and are encouraging people to visit the site virtually instead, uh, instead of in person. The cherry blossoms are one of D.C.'s biggest tourist attractions. Japan gifted the original Yoshino trees to the U.S. in 1912. Oh, I'd love to see that. That's on the bucket list. Yeah, me too. Well, it's time for Potentially Yours here on Live at Four. Let's help Bailey find a forever home. He's an adult male pit bull, ter uh, pit bull terrier mix. Our friends at DCHS say Bailey can be shy and a little stressed out in new situations. So he's looking for a family who will provide plenty of positive reinforcement. He would do best in a home with teenagers or older children. He's a good looking guy. And the Humane Society wanted to pass along coming up April 2nd, there will be a Pampered Chef fundraiser at the Dane County Humane Society. 20% of sales will go to the shelter. More information is on giveshelter.org. And let's take a look at last week's pet. Oh, what a pretty kitty. Charlotte and Samantha, both cats, they were both adopted. That's great news. If you're interested in adopting or checking out any of the animals at the Dane County Humane Society, go to giveshelter.org or you can set up an appointment at 838-0413. Can't wait till we can have the pets back in the studio. Yeah, that's always a lot of fun. Well, Dana's here now with the weather a little breezy out there. It is very windy. You know, when Midwesterners get made fun of for saying, oh, it'll be fine if it weren't for the wind, today's one of those days. It would be really nice outside, mild and sunny, if it weren't for the wind gusts. Now, thankfully, we'll back off a little bit as we look ahead to tomorrow, but we still are in store for quite a very windy evening. We'll look at your full forecast right after the break. For over 25 years, Fry Construction has provided excellence in home improvements. We strive to exceed the expectations of our clients with each and every project we do. Respected by so many of your neighbors and voted best of Madison, Fry Construction delivers lasting quality for your home. In honor of our 25 years, we're offering 25% off gutters or insulation with any full roof project. Schedule your consultation today at FryConstruction.com. If your dry eye symptoms keep coming back, inflammation in your eye might be to blame. Looks like a great day for achy, burning eyes. Over-the-counter eye drops typically work by lubricating your eyes and may provide temporary relief. Ha! These drops probably won't touch me. Zydra works differently, targeting inflammation that can cause dry eye disease. What is that? Zydra? No! It can provide lasting relief. Oh. Zydra is the only FDA-approved treatment specifically for the signs and symptoms of dry eye disease. One drop in each eye, twice a day. Don't use if you're allergic to Zydra. Common side effects include eye irritation, discomfort, or blurred vision when applied to the eye, and unusual taste sensation. Don't touch container tip to your eye or any surface. After using Zydra, wait 15 minutes before reinserting contacts. Got any room in your eye? Talk to an eye doctor about twice daily Zydra. I'd prefer you didn't. Zydra, not today, dry eye. Yes. Who is USAA made for? It's made for this guy, a veteran who honorably served, and it's made for her. She's serving now. We made it for all branches and all ranks, whether they served one tour or made a career of it. We also made USAA for military spouses and their kids. USAA is easy to work with and can save you money on auto, home, and renter's insurance. Become a member today. Call us for a quote. USAA, what you're made of, we're made for. USAA. 
You expect students to make a mess in schools, but the superintendent, under Deb Kerr's leadership, the Brown Deer School District was a financial mess. Kerr's district's accounts were overdrawn by half a million dollars, slamming her district with late fees. And instead of firing the employee responsible, he was given paid leave, costing taxpayers 136,000 more to pay him to do nothing. Scandals, cover-ups, taxpayer money wasted. Deb Kerr, the wrong choice for state school superintendent. News 3 Now First Warn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Again, it is sunny outside right now, mild temperatures, but it's also very windy. We do have wind advisories in effect through much of the state until 8 o'clock this evening. Uh, much of southern Wisconsin included in that. If we look a little further off to the west, red flag warnings in effect where they're just a little drier and also seeing uh, those very strong wind gusts or their fire danger concerns uh, throughout the rest of the evening. Right now, Doppler track through much of the area, of course, pretty quiet. The concern with those wind gusts being a fire danger means that we don't have any rain coming through right now. We should stay pretty quiet throughout the evening, but by tomorrow, we do have a slight chance for an isolated shower too. Doesn't look like a great opportunity to pick up a lot of rain, but we could see a few raindrops. Those wind gusts, again, anywhere from 15 to 30 miles per hour this evening could see those gusts over 35 miles per hour. We've already seen that for some areas this afternoon, so a very, very windy afternoon and evening. Tomorrow will be cloudy outside. We'll lose the sun, but we'll also lose the wind, and we will get that slight chance for some showers to pass through. As we look ahead to Wednesday and Thursday, it gets a little cooler outside. Chilly conditions expected for us for the uh, middle end of the week. Right now, we are quite windy. This system just off to the west that is going to drag quickly a cold front over. We cool down behind the front, but we do have that slight chance for a shower tomorrow. Our wind speeds back off just a little bit overnight. Cloud coverage building in to start off our Tuesday. And tomorrow, we will be mostly cloudy outside with temperatures holding pretty steady throughout the day. We'll stay pretty close to 50 degrees with highs of the low 50s for us uh, for Tuesday. With that cloud coverage through the afternoon, again, a slight chance for an isolated shower, but it doesn't look like we're going to pick up uh, much rain for us on Tuesday. Temperatures overnight dropping down to the upper 20s, mid to upper 20s on Wednesday, so a cool start to Wednesday behind that front. Notice our breeze coming in from the northwest. Wednesday's high temperatures will struggle to get close to 40 degrees, so we will be dropping back below average uh, for Wednesday and for Thursday. It'll be a little cooler outside for us after a pretty mild start to the week. Today, pretty comfortable outside. Tomorrow will be in the low 50s. Breezy conditions still not quite as mild. That slight chance for some showers. Wind speeds will back off just a little bit with sustained wind speeds in that 10 to 20 mile per hour range, but it'll be nice to not be quite as gusty outside. As we look ahead to the rest of the week, again on Wednesday and Thursday, it's going to be cooler. High temperatures will be close to 40 degrees for both days. We'll hold on to the sunshine, though. Uh, once that builds back in, it stays with us heading into the weekend in the mid 50s on Thursday and then we're in the 60s on Saturday and Sunday. So we get to enjoy uh, the sunshine for the weekend for Easter weekend. Shower chances developing late Sunday night and into Monday and next week it looks like we're going to have the opportunity to have a few rounds of rain and some isolated thunderstorms. So that's something we'll be keeping an eye on once we get through Easter. Can't believe it's already Easter weekend, right? We already <laughs> talked about April and uh, pretty soon I'll be delivering some summer news. Yeah, so that's good news. That that's good something news. to look forward to. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you, Dana. In the U.S., near record rain in Tennessee over the weekend caused massive flooding and left at least four people dead. That's after dozens of tornadoes tore through four southern states last week. The torrential rains in Tennessee left people stranded in their cars, leading at least one person to come to the rescue in waist-deep floodwaters. Nashville's fire crews also made at least 130 rescues. The teams responded bravely to uh, rescue people not only from their homes and cars, but also to make sure that they go to known areas of uh, residents that may live uh, outdoors. Left devastated by the downpour with living rooms knee deep in floodwaters, Nashville's mayor says in 48 hours, the city received more than seven inches of rain. 
Well, as part of its 175th anniversary, the Wisconsin Historical Society is celebrating Wisconsin's visionaries, change makers, and storytellers. One of those visionaries that we should all know more about is Tony Wise. The tourism industry of northern Wisconsin would not be what it is today without Tony Wise. Nick Hoffman is the administrator of the Museum and Historic Sites at the Wisconsin Historical Society. Nick, welcome to Live Before. Good Hi, to see Nick. you again. Good to see you. Hi, good afternoon. Uh, great to be here. So tell us, who is this guy, Tony Wise? Well, Tony Wise, um, I think a lot of people might be familiar with one of the big events that he created in northern Wisconsin, the Berkey, uh, the Berkey Biner. Um, he was a lover of outdoor recreation, um, and he really wanted to bring uh, a lot of tourism to his home communities of Hayward and Cable. So he was a cross-country skier himself, I understand. How did he come up with the name for this? Where does Berkebeiner well, uh, come from? It comes from Norway, and actually it goes back to 1206, the Norwegian Civil War. And since that event, there's been many different variations of this, uh, of celebrating this tradition of cross-country skiing uh, during the war. But he really became interested in skiing when he was a veteran uh, in World War II. Um, he served in Germany, and he came across the 1936 Olympic site in Germany, and he noticed that there were a lot of different resorts in that part of part of Germany, and he came up with the idea that when he returned back from, from the war, he was going to start a lodge uh, for skiing in his hometown. So he created the Telemark Lodge and Ski Resort. Um, Tony was really a remarkable PR person, um, and so he knew that he'd have to have a lot of big events to bring people to visit his resort uh, from all over uh, the Midwest. And so that's when he started creating some really big events. Uh, in 1960, he, he created the World Lumberjack Championship. But it was in 1973 um, that he started the Berkey uh, Championships. And what impact has the Berkey had on Wisconsin? Oh, it's really been enormous. And I think that's something to, to really remember about Tony is that he created the event not just to bring all these major international competitors um, to Hayward and Cable each winter, but he wanted to make the sport accessible to everybody. He really believed in outdoor recreation as being a really key element to the future of tourism in northern Wisconsin. Um, so today, the Berkey is not just about cross-country skiing and for professionals. Um, it's for everybody. They have eight Age groups of all different um, levels that compete in the sport and he keeps widening it to uh, winter cycling and running so he's really about uh, people celebrating that outdoor recreation in all seasons in northern Wisconsin it's the largest cross-country ski race in North America isn't that right yeah, absolutely. I mean, it really is enormous. There's uh, over 10,000 competitors each year and nearly double that of people coming to, to watch as spectators. So it really is just a massive event for, for that part of the state. Now, Tony's just one of the people the Wisconsin Historical Society is highlighting with the 175 campaign. Where can people find more information about all this? We are right now, we're starting with 36 biographies that we're highlighting from those visionary change makers and storytellers. But people are encouraged to go to wisconsinhistory.org. Um, they should visit often because we keep adding more and more stories. And really, this is about widening history. There's a lot of names that you might recognize, like Tony Wise, but there are many others that we keep bringing forward. We're telling um, new stories about some of the stories that you may really well know in state history, but hopefully will also surprise you along the way. I love surprises. I love history. I love Wisconsin. Oh, they're, great, and they're all great place fascinating to go. stories. Nick, great to see you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, always great. All right. Next to Live at Four, hand sanitizers, a helpful tool to protect us against COVID-19 as well as other bacteria and viruses, but a new study shows some products could make us sick. And then coming up tonight at 5, there is a new option to get vaccinated in Baraboo. We'll tell you all about it coming up tonight at 5. farther with personal checking choices. At Starion Bank, you make the decisions. Your money, your style. Apply online in just four minutes at StarionBank.com. Here at TSR, we turn old cracked garage floors like this 
into beautiful, tough floors like this in just one day. Hi, I'm Joey with TSR Concrete Coatings, and we design high quality, beautiful floors that can stand up to the toughest of applications. Our coatings are easily able to withstand heavy traffic, drop tools, and they're ridiculously easy to clean. We are dedicated to superior customer service, which doesn't just stop after the installation. We also provide you with an exclusive warranty on all of our floor coatings that gives you the peace of mind knowing that your stunning new floor is protected for life. Visit the website or call the number below for your new floor today. Joe Parisi has preserved thousands of acres that the public can enjoy forever. Joe knows we all deserve a chance to succeed. Joe Parisi partnered with local schools to build the only school-based mental health program of its kind in the state. Thank you, Joe, for your commitment to preserving green spaces that we can all get outside and play in. Thank you, Joe, for working so hard to make sure everyone in this community has an opportunity and a second chance. Thank you, Joe, for caring about the well-being of our children. Go farther with personal checking choices at Starion Bank. Like smart checking, it's free when you choose e-statements. Your money, your style. Apply online in just four minutes at StarionBank.com. popularity across the country. The booze-free buzz that owners are cashing in on tonight at 5. Today's strong winds warmed us up significantly, but the winds over the next two days will cool us down quite a bit. Southerly winds on Friday will warm us right back up. My forecast at 5. And ahead at 5.30 with jury trials set to restart in Dane County in June, how the criminal justice system is planning to manage a massive backlog of cases. That's tonight on News 3 Now at 5.30. Here's a live look at downtown Madison as the camera shakes in the wind. Nice and sunny out there, but it is windy. Well, during the pandemic, we've relied on hand sanitizers to help keep us safe. But now in an independent study, researchers from the company Valashur say they detected higher than allowed levels of a potential cancer-causing chemical compound in 21 products from 15 different brands. Dr. John LaPook has more. David Light runs Valisure, an independent lab and pharmacy that tests drug products for quality. Over the last several months, they started finding benzene, a known carcinogen, in some hand sanitizers. Honestly, I was shocked. It might very well be the most well-known compound that is dangerous to humans. Valisure's chief scientific officer, Corey Kuchera, walked us through the testing process. So this peak represents the amount of benzene that's in this bottle? Correct. And that's high? That's high. In the early days of the pandemic, the FDA relaxed standards on benzene levels in liquid hand sanitizers, according to Dr. Leonardo Trasande. There was uh, an effort to really increase hand sanitizers and the availability. The FDA allowed liquid hand sanitizers to contain benzene in a concentration of up to two parts per million. Valisher tested hundreds of products for benzene. Valisher says of 260 products, 21 from 15 brands tested above the FDA interim limit. The top three tested between six to eight times higher than allowed. Batches of this sanitizer with a baby Yoda on the front contain nearly double the allowable amount. Attempts to get a response from manufacturer Best Brands Consumer Products were unsuccessful. CBS News found the product available on Amazon who told CBS News it is investigating the products in question. There's no reason for that kind of a product to be on the market. Dr. Daniel Teitelbaum is an expert on benzene exposure. He warns benzene absorption could be increased in workers who use a hand sanitizer contaminated with benzene, then put on gloves that prevent evaporation. There are people who have special risks. It's a lot of healthcare personnel. It's a lot of cleaning and sanitation people. 
In a statement, the Walt Disney Company said it launched independent testing on the Baby Yoda sanitizer and has instructed Best Brands to withdraw the product until more is learned. Dr. John LaPook, CBS News, New York. Valashore has petitioned the FDA to launch an investigation and recall the ones that are on the list. The FDA says it's reviewing the petition and continues to test sanitizer products and monitor the market. If you want to see which products were flagged by Valashore, we've shared that research on cbsnews.com and we'll be right back. the businesses that have been most affected by COVID-19, restaurants are at the very top of that list. Alfredo, tell us the story of Bonfire. This all began back in 2009 for you. It's one of my favorite restaurants in town, so it's a true honor to sit here with you today. Well, I appreciate you coming by. We wanted to do something that's kind of nice but casual. So we focus on a big bar, as you can see. Uh, exhibition kitchen. We use uh, a wood fire grill so when you walk in, you know, you can smell it. What has it been like for you trying to own and operate a business during what the last year has brought with COVID-19? It's been rough, you know, it's been really rough. We had to shut down for about four months. During that time, we, you know, lost a lot of good employees. But thanks to the Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund, those employees have a place to turn. While the pandemic has really impacted on all of us, it's hit hard as those people, from, the, especially from the restaurant industry. For them, just being able to keep a roof over their head or, or their heat and power on uh, is an unaffordable luxury. Now more than ever, they need us. We want to give back to them, as does many of their neighbors, family, and friends who realize that at no fault of their own, uh, they're struggling to survive. Now, uh, we've seen an in, uh, uptick, you know, in business, especially the last three weeks with vaccine coming out. People have been very generous to the staff, which is great. Let's do a cheers to, sure. to getting through this time and to a brighter tomorrow. Right. Cheers. cheers, Alfredo. From Bonfire American Grill. I'm Emmy Fink, and, and you're you buzzed, buzzed into, into Madison. Madison. You got it! <laughs> There's a splash of surprise in every Wisconsin Lottery Scratch game. Like WOW, the new $10 number match game, featuring a chance to win double the prize with a WOW symbol or instantly win $30 for every binocular symbol revealed. A chance to win up to 25 times and a top prize of $75,000. Instant Scratch Games from the Wisconsin Lottery. Odds are you'll like them. You expect students to make a mess in schools, but the superintendent, under Deb Kerr's leadership, the Brown Deer School District was a financial mess. Kerr's district's accounts were overdrawn by half a million dollars, slamming her district with late fees. And instead of firing the employee responsible, he was given paid leave, costing taxpayers 136,000 more to pay him to do nothing. Scandals, cover-ups, taxpayer money wasted. Deb Kerr, the wrong choice for state school superintendent. look smooth on the roads actually east and west battle on the belt line no delays again it's very windy outside so high profile vehicles will want to keep that in mind and certainly keep an eye on them as you are traveling home overall the interstate dane county uh, through in rock county downtown janesville north and southbound should be pretty smooth from janesville to the belt line 29 minutes 17 minutes to get from sox city to middleton and some prey to downtown nine minutes this evening that's a quick look at traffic dana thank you well this dog is settling into his new forever home after getting attention for his shoplifting he repeatedly broke into a dollar store in North Carolina and stole this purple unicorn. The store eventually called Animal Services and the responding officer decided to buy the toy for the one-year-old Sishu. On his adoption information, the shelter says, quote, he knows sit, heal, and loves unicorns from Dollar General. <laughs> now he's stolen someone's heart as well. And he and his toy have found a new family. Oh, that's so nice. I know, I kept getting in the store, but he did over and over. <laughs> well, a school bus in Wausau is taking a trip, but not, but not to any area Wausau schools. Sydney Hawkins tells us more about the couple turning their dream into a reality. 
This Wausau couple is saying goodbye to their in-ground home and hello to life on wheels, but it's going to take a little work. With hopes to relocate across the country. We're planning on heading to Colorado. And stay. We have some solar panels and we're going to try to basically build a little off-grid house for ourselves um, that's mobile so we can mm -hmm. take it wherever we want. Kenzie and Kyle are preparing for a new life on the road. We are going to have to get rid of quite a few things. We've already gotten rid of, I would say, a decent amount of things oh, yeah. to um, get ready for our haul to Colorado. But first, a few changes have to be made inside of the bus. It's going to have everything that a home would need. It's going to have a fully functional bathroom, a shower, a toilet, um, kitchen, everything you need at a kitchen. Um, off-grid electrical, yeah. solar panels, and connected to batteries, and we'll have a generator for backup. And outside of it. And we have to repaint the outside of the bus mm -hmm. um, to register it as an RV. So it, the school bus yellow has to go. When it's finished, they say they will be ready to take on the adventure of their dreams. Well, when we got together, we went to Colorado twice, and we wanted to experience dispersed camping. And it turned out to be like one of the things we really liked. So. Yeah. We, I don't know, she kind of brought me into the idea of a, building a school bus into a tiny home, so I'm just all aboard. <laughs> the couple says by the end of this year, they're hoping to have a fully functioning mobile home that can take them straight to Colorado. Reporting in Wausau, Sydney Hawkins News Channel 7. Not a bad way to go. That's pretty cool. I want to see it when it's all done. Yeah. All I'm the inside. Very interested in that. All right, we'll be right back with a final check of your forecast. heating and cooling, you can save a whole bunch of money when you buy a furnace. You know what's even better? Saving even more money when you purchase a furnace and an air conditioner at the same time. Harker Heating and Cooling. That's not bacon. It's sausage. Whoa. Behold, Johnsonville Sausage Strips. Sausage that looks and cooks like bacon. It's a meaty miracle. Find them in the bacon section. Even though they're sausage. Millions are saying yes to Allegra, the number one allergist recommended non-drowsy brand. Allegra works two times faster than Claritin, and unlike Zyrtec, it's non-drowsy. Say yes to Allegra, and for congestion relief, find Allegra D behind the pharmacy counter. When you're the victim of an accident, it can feel like the weight of the entire world is on your shoulders. Why not let us take that crippling burden off your back? Habish, Habish, and Rotier. We fight for what's right. prices? Then get more ways to save at Pick and Save, where you can find personalized coupons, weekly deals, and rewards like fuel points. All for prices that are lower than low. On food that's fresher than fresh. Pick and Save. Fresh for everyone. At Harker Heating and Cooling, you can save a whole bunch of money when you buy a furnace. You know what's even better? Saving even more money when you purchase a furnace and an air conditioner at the same time. Harker Heating and Cooling. It's one thing to say you have the most accurate forecast. It's another to prove it, and we've done just that. First Warn Weather has been certified most accurate here in Madison by WeatherRain, an independent research firm. They study every news station's forecast every day, every year, and determine scientifically which forecasts align with the actual observed conditions. Only one station came out on top, and that's News 3 Now First Warn Weather. Trust the First Warn Weather team for your most accurate forecast. Dane County jury trials are set to reopen in June. We are all going to have some serious challenges managing the backlog. News 3 Now's Naomi Coles examines the plan for catching up on the huge number of unresolved cases. Justice delayed today at 530. Hi folks, Tuesday morning we are honoring those on the front lines for National Doctors Day. Meet a local doctor being recognized for his latest efforts on News 3 Now this morning. We'll see you then. We do have a wind advisory in effect until 8 o'clock this evening. If you haven't been outside yet, 
Uh, just take a quick peek. Things are blowing around quite a bit. Sustained wind speeds at about 24 miles per hour in Madison, 31 in Janesville, and 21 in Mineral Point. And as we look at those peak wind gusts today, close to 45 miles per hour for Madison, 46 in Lone Rock. It has been a very windy afternoon. That's going to continue for the next few hours as our Edgewater sky cam looks like it's it's got a little little shaking going on for us right now downtown temperature wise we're in the mid 60s it's nice and sunny it does feel very pleasant outside it's just that it is windy with that clear sky of course doppler track nice and quiet for us overnight things will become cloudy and as we look ahead to tomorrow breezy not quite as windy and a slight chance for some showers expected as we look ahead to uh, the the afternoon with that cloud coverage building in for us we'll be back to some for the end of the week though that's the good news we'll keep that sunshine around heading into easter weekend all right dana thank you very much Coming up tomorrow here on Live Before, UW Health's Dr. Jeff Potoff has the latest COVID vaccination news. And Consumer Reports says some pets can make you sick. They'll have information to help you and your furry family stay healthy. That's coming up tomorrow on Live at Four. Yeah. Why am I so calm right now? Because this isn't a spy thriller. This is a Nissan sales event ad. Hurry, 0% financing for up to 84 months on 14 models ends March 31st. Tick tock, time's running out. Does it really matter how beef is trimmed? Meet the facts. Fact, hy V has higher standards when it comes to trimming beef. hy V Choice Reserve is trimmed with only one quarter inch of fat. So you pay for the meat, not for the fat. And get what you pay for. Are you getting what you pay for? Stop paying for the fact. Check out meetthefacts.hyvee.com. Here at TSR, we turn old cracked garage floors like this into beautiful, tough floors like this in just one day. Hi, I'm Joey with TSR Concrete Coatings, and we design high quality, beautiful floors that can stand up to the toughest of applications. Our coatings are easily able to withstand heavy traffic, drop tools, and they're ridiculously easy to clean. We are dedicated to superior customer service, which doesn't just stop after the installation. We also provide you with an exclusive warranty on all of our floor coatings that gives you the peace of mind knowing that your stunning new floor is protected for life. Visit the website or call the number below for your new floor today. Maintenance fee, ATM fee. Can I hide in your fort? Sure, but the fort fee is 10 cookies. Psst. Need a place to hide from fees? With a BMO Harris Smart Advantage account, you can get cash with nearly as many fee-free ATMs in the U.S. as the three largest banks combined. And no monthly maintenance fee. Huh, do you hear that? No monthly maintenance fee. Fort fees are subject to the governing bodies of the fort. She did not learn that from me. When a bank helps you make real financial progress, that's the BMO effect. And right now, get a $200 bonus when you open a new BMO Harris Smart Advantage account. Why am I so calm right now? Because this isn't a spy thriller. This is a Nissan sales event ad. Hurry, this low 189 per month lease on the 2021 Sentra ends March 31st. Tick tock, time's running out. In today's final touch, a property made famous by the first family of Canadian comedy is up for sale. The motel made famous by TV's Sheets Creek is up for sale. The 10-room motel in Ontario was the setting for the Emmy sweeping series in which an uber-wealthy family becomes bankrupt and must relocate to this rural town and are forced to move into a dilapidated motel. Fans of the Eugene Levy show know the property as the Rosebud Motel, but its real name is Hockley Motel.